Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a get ready with me slash q and I did partner up with Fenty for today's video. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look as well as answer a few questions, make sure to keep on watching. I did start the video with foundation and my eyelash strips on. I just wanted to let you know, I wanted to go ahead and just already have my eyelash strips on because I am currently testing out different magnetic eyelash strips and I didn't want to have to put them on on camera because they're, they're not the easiest for me to put on. I'm not the best with eyeliner and I just thought it would be easier for me to put my foundation on first before, before I put the strips on because that's just kind of like a whole disaster. So I'm wearing the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I did apply it with my BK Beauty sponge and then of course I will try to link these lashes down below for you. I picked them up at Walgreens. They're super, super affordable. I'm having like like a love-hate relationship with magnetic lashes right now. You guys know I love my eyelash extensions, which I will definitely, definitely be going back to as soon as I possibly can. If you wanna see how I got this makeup look, keep on watching. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my chai tea here. I actually picked up one yesterday when I was out and about. I went to Walgreens, got a few things, and I got a chai tea without ice because I wanted to be able to sip on it today while I was filming this. The first question that I wanted to go over was about these earrings. I will link these down below. They are my like most favorite earrings right now. I wear them all the time and I wear them with everything. Granted, primarily we're dressing super, super casual and very, very lounge wear -y, but I've been wearing them with that, but I'll totally dress these up as well. I also got asked about my ancestry and what my DNA is. I actually have a video on that, so I will link it up above for you guys right now. Let me put some of these hair clippies in. I feel like a total hot mess, y'all. Like I just, I haven't gotten anything done. And here's the thing, like I know that right now and, and with everything that's happening in the world, these are not important things, but it definitely is like, it's hard to like film when you're not feeling cute, right? I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in forever. Don't even get me started on my lashes. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Instagram stories, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, spent some time on on that so i'm mixing these two these are called matchsticks these are from fenty i actually ordered these 100 percent on my own i love them you guys so i mixed two colors mocha and amber so amber is more of a cool tone and and mocha is more of a warm and i find that amber can be a little bit too cool for my particular skin tone so i like adding just that touch of warmth with the mocha and then once i blend these together it, it's just perfection another question that i was asked is about my celine bag i got so many responses about my celine bag and not having that in my collection anymore i I, I loved that bag. I really, really did. There was a lot that I loved about it, but I found that I didn't reach for it much. I need to put a little bit more. These sticks are so awesome. Like they they really are so good and they're great whenever you want like a no makeup look. I could watch, when I finish with this, you can see I could literally throw on some lip gloss and you know powder up if I really, really wanted to and be done for the day if you want a super easy no makeup look they're just so simple and they give that depth but then they also give that warmth to your face especially whenever you mix the two colors like how perfect see how i instantly look more alive and awake and just more balanced and sculpted doesn't that look just so much better so i'm gonna do a little bit more of the mocha color to almost act like a bronzer and do that and I just do that on the cheeks, get a little bit more there. This is kind of like my secret to quick get ready five minute makeup or especially makeup right now where you're not really leaving the house but you wanna put something on your skin. Cream products, you guys. Cream products are key. They are, I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. It's just really, really beautiful. All you have to do is blend this out and you can put these directly over foundation or you can even put it over clean, bare skin. Now this is Fenty's new Cheeks Outline. They just recently launched. They are a cream blush, but they also have cream bronzers. I'm gonna use both of them for you guys today just so you can see them both. Again, like I said, if you're going for super easy, no makeup looks, the, these are just like 
a must have in my opinion. I'm gonna show you two different colors. This is macchiato in the bronzer, really, really beautiful. Definitely like a little bit of warmth, kind of a terracotta color. And then this is the butter biscuit. This one is my favorite. As you can see, I have already been wearing this one quite a bit. I've been wearing this one every day. And I'm just gonna apply this almost like a blush, but again, this is the bronzer, but I'm gonna almost apply it like a blush and just kind of warmth up the face. You can put a little bit up here. Here, the color is so pretty. I love, love, love this cheek color. And then as far as the actual cheek colors from the Cheeks Out collection, my two favorites are the Petal Poppin, which is a really, really beautiful pink, and then the Rose Latte. So I actually like blending the two of these together. This one adds a little bit of youthness and like fresh young, and this one adds that depth of color. So I like mixing the two together. I'll just kind of grab them both, and then I'll put this on the apples of my cheek. You can get the darker color and bring that more out and then put the lighter color on the apples and then blend them together together too if you want. But I just love these two colors together. I can definitely be sometimes a little bit heavy handed in the cheeks. It's just my favorite area. I've said that a thousand times. One of the things about cream products is it's so easy to blend. You can either get a clean blush brush or something and blend out the edges. But then again, because it's a cream product, we haven't set it yet. So if you ever want to tone down the color a little bit, you can do that very easily by just setting it with the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and set the cream products now, and this is the Universal Invisimat powder, also by Fenty. I was so excited to try this, and I'm not gonna put a ton. You can see you really don't need a lot, and one of the things that I love about this, you can see it's a very, very white powder. It goes on completely invisible, so it's not gonna add any color or cakiness. It's just going to mattify the face, but it also doesn't feel dry, which I also love. And if you look and you think that you want just a little bit more of a pop of color on the cheek, you can still grab one of these colors. I prefer to go in with the baby or pink color, get a, a blush brush that doesn't have a lot of product on it. You can even kind of get rid of a lot of that. And then you can go directly over the powder with this cheek just to kind of get it a little bit more direct and concentrated where you want it. But this cheek product, you guys, is so beautiful and I love, love this color. Now, if I were going for just a no makeup look, I would actually just fill in my brows and stop here. Maybe add a little bit of highlight, and I'm gonna show you that, but then I wanna kind of build on top of this while we're chatting and while I'm answering some of your questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows and answer a few more questions. The next question that I was asked is, how do I always manage to always be so put together all the time? And the answer to that is I am not. And I, I do not, I'm not always put together all the time. You guys have to remember, you're seeing one picture every single day and that's it. And that picture, it took, you know, seconds to, to take. And some, and most of the time, you know, a lot of times, especially if I'm shooting with my photographer, those photos were taken a day or two or even more, especially the photos you're seeing lately. I actually shot with my photographer um, before all of this kind of happened and I have been saving those photos and kind of really stretching them out so I have been kind of living in my pajamas and living in my loungewear the last like few weeks and I'm okay with that but I, I try to always explain to you guys that one don't ever look at Instagram social media and compare it to your life because Social media, Instagram specifically, bloggers, things like that. It, you're seeing one, a very, very specific, you know, posed typically photo. We also edit our photos. Now I don't specifically edit my photos, my photographer does, but, and he doesn't use Photoshop or anything like that. Like it doesn't make me look skinnier. Or he doesn't do anything like that. But he definitely fixes the brightening and contrast and, and highlights and all of that stuff. So I just, think just in general, I just don't think it's a healthy mindset to look at you know, my photos or anybody else's photos and try to compare your life to it. Because again, you're seeing a very highly edited, very specific photos that are chosen, hand chosen, you know, and for me, I like to share pretty photos, but that's also why I like to have, you know, my YouTube channel and then, you know, Instagram stories 
so you can see a little bit of everything i try to i try to be real with y'all i mean again i i started this because i enjoy beautiful photos and things like that but i also really try to be real with y'all and authentic with y'all just so that you understand that I am no different than you. Like the only difference between me and, and, and everybody watching this is I just put a little bit of my life on social media and that's it. But my life is not any different. And this is just a highlighter. This is the Mean Money Hustla Baby Kilowatt Highlighter from Fenty Beauty. So we just have to make sure that we're not comparing our life because trust me, I am definitely not always put together. I like to be put together and that's one of the reasons why I started Lux Mommy, but I'm definitely not always, always put together. I am gonna go ahead and do a little bit more contour on my nose. I feel like it just needs it. And if I'm looking over to the side, sorry guys, I just have to see in the, in the camera. Look, like these sticks you guys are so good. This is the amber color. And I find since I've already laid down some warmth there, I can put a little bit of the amber and that's gonna kinda Look at that, doesn't that look so good? These sticks are so easy. And because of the formula, you can do them before powder or even do a little bit after if you need to. So that's one of the things I like about those sticks. So the last thing that I need to do is some lipstick. And this is one of my favorites by Bobbi Brown. I, you can see I didn't add a lip liner. Again, cause we're going for, at least for this particular look, we're going for a super easy, very natural. So I just add that love, this like pinky nude color and this right here, this one's by Becca. I'll put the color and everything down below. This one's been my current favorite lip gloss. It again, it's a nude. This one's gonna tone down the pink a little bit of the lipstick, which is what I want. Cause I want this to look a little bit more like a nude. And I just think that that look right here, this has kind of been my go to makeup look. It takes, three to five minutes, super, super easy. You don't even have to do foundation if you don't want to. I did put foundation on, I used the Clinique even better. I put that on before, like I said, because I wanted to put my lashes on. And then as for concealer, I did use this Clay to Poe one, so I did use this. And I mean, but you don't even have to do that. You can do just concealer and go straight into the cream products. That's one of my favorite things about cream products is you can do them with foundation, you can do them without. It's so easy to do such a simple, simple look like this. Now I do want to kind of keep going and show you if you want to make it a little bit more intense how I do that So like I said, this is typically going to be my quick like three minute five minute makeup The next thing that I would add if I want just a little something extra is going to be something on my eyes I currently don't have any eyeshadow on at all and my favorite favorite thing to do is to use a bronzer so you can use the cream bronzer, if you'd like, you can use a powder bronzer. It's really completely up to you. You can even layer the two if you want a deeper look, but I like to get a crease brush. This one is by BK Beauty. It is the 202 brush, and then just grab that bronzer and then go into the crease. While I am working on this, the next question that I had was about my adoption story part three. Yeah, I do. I definitely do need to do that. I don't currently have it on my calendar, but maybe I will add that. Speaking of, if you guys have any specific questions, I think for part three, I'm gonna finish off like the timeline of the adoption story, but then I'm also gonna answer any questions that I missed throughout the entire series. Do you see how adding that bronzer really just add like the, a deepens up the tone, but it adds some warmth. And I just, I at, to me, a bronzer is like, such the perfect, perfect transition shade. And then my favorite lid color is Woodwinked by MAC. I'll link everything down below, like I said, and I'm just gonna place this with a flat, like, shader brush and place this directly on the lid. And I don't do a lot. I just get a little bit on there, and that is it. I really don't spend a lot of time on my eyeshadow. I just never have. I find that I can get like the look I want with like three colors typically. And I don't have any problem with that. And you guys are constantly asking me what I use. And the last color that I'm gonna use is something right underneath the brow bone. And then this is gonna be a more of like a dome flat brush. And I will just put that underneath there. See how that just adds that little pop. This kind of finishes off the look. 
Okay, and the last I like to get like a blender brush. So this one is the 201 brush from BK Beauty. And then you can just get like a soft brown color or you can even use the bronzer again and then just bring that up a little higher so that you can blend the contour color, which is your bronzer with that like highlighter color as well. And these not only helps like blend them all together, but it kind of blends up the entire look. But look at how easy that is. Three colors on my lid, that is it. What I like to do to finish it off is I like to grab the two darker colors, so the crease color and then the lid color, which is the bronzer and then the shimmer color, and I will bring those down below just to finish off the look. Again, not spending a lot of time. Okay, so it is a lot harder to answer questions while I'm doing my makeup than I was expecting because I do wanna talk about the makeup as well. But let me go ahead and get to another question. I did get quite a few handbag questions and I actually just recently did a handbag collection video. So make sure to check out that video. I will link it up above right now for you guys. So I thought this was a really fun question. I had someone ask what is going to be the first thing that I do the second that I get out of quarantine and probably go to a restaurant and eat with my family. That is what I'm probably most excited about. So I am just going to deepen the bronzer kind of contour. Again, that's my favorite part of makeup, blush, bronzer, contour. So I'm gonna use the Butter Biscuit Cheeks Out from Fenty Beauty again, and I am just gonna grab their blush brush and add a little bit more just to deepen this. And I especially feel like I need it more here. Again, we're just kind of intensifying the look going from a super, super natural, no makeup look to a little bit more of, you know, a little bit more drama. The next question that I was asked, which I think is so funny and I don't understand why I get asked this. If I was a, if I was a guy, I would never be asked this, but, and I think it's so limiting to women and we have to stop limiting ourselves. And, and it is basically the, like, the question is, is if my husband is okay with supporting buying all my handbags. And I guess I just don't understand why or, or when I ever gave the impression that I do not buy my own handbags. Like I have always worked I've always been very career driven. If you follow me from the, from the beginning, you guys know that about me. I've always been a very, very hard worker. And I think as women, we have to stop limiting ourselves. We assume that if a woman has nice things that a man must have bought them for her. And that is not the case anymore, you guys. I think that, that we are like way past that. There are some households that maybe the woman is the breadwinner of the house. And maybe, you know, maybe the, the roles are reversed from, from what typical society is expecting. I know just in general as women, we do not like it when society or other people put limits on us, but yet we seem to do it to each other. And so we have to stop doing that to each other because trust me, there are plenty of households where the woman is actually making more than the husband. And guess what? That is okay too. So do you see how I'm just using that cream bronzer to kind of deepen this? I am loving the way that this is turning out. It is more of what I prefer to wear, a little bit more intense. I just love this, especially whenever I've got my eyelash extensions on. It just looks really, really nice. But this is so, so pretty. I'm starting to get that warmth that I really love, that really like kind of J-Lo glow. It's like perfect, perfect for the look that I'm going for. The next question that I was asked is, what's my all-time favorite perfume? And if you've been following me for a while, this is gonna be the Cheeks Out in the Petal Poppin. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that so I can get some pinkiness and like flush tone to the apples of my cheek right here. Um, but if you've been following me for a while, my all-time favorite perfume has been Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. That, that perfume is just kind of like everything. I recently, about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, I really fell in love with the Honeysuckle Divana by uh, Joe Malone. That one's a really good one, but those are the only two perfumes that I actually have in my perfume collection right now. They are so beautiful, very, very different and unique. They're not similar at all. But I will say the Honeysuckle Divana is a little bit light for night or like date nights and things like that. So I definitely love the Coco Mademoiselle for day and night. And then I love the Honeysuckle Divana for daytime. It's a little bit lighter than the Coco Mademoiselle. It's not as like intense. It doesn't have the like punch to it, but both of them smell amazing. I'll link them both down below. I want to play around with this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette. I haven't played around with it yet, but the colors are really beautiful. This is the True Neutrals, and I'm grabbing that darker shade here, and I thought this would be really, really pretty 
underneath the eyes just to kind of deepen it so i always feel like it's really important to balance out the bottom by adding some color down there and see how just kind of deepening it really really looks nice like smoldering and kind of smoky i love that this is really really pretty color and because we're going for a little bit more drama i'm going to grab that highlighter palette again and get the more intense highlighter and i'm going to put more of that on the inner corner of my eye Ooh, love it so pretty so pretty this is my favorite i love putting inner corner highlight it just oh, it just looks so good i also love 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 putting it here on the cubes bow do you see that like it's just so pretty the next question that i was asked is in regards to kind of like this whole situation and how we are handling it as a family it has definitely not been easy for us my husband is considered essential so he still has to go to work every single day which means i am home with the boys all day which is completely fine but it's been challenging you know i'm trying to get as much work done as possible but of course nowhere near the amount that i would typically get done and then i'm also trying to you know do school work with the boys and that in of itself has been challenging one of the things about the boys and i know that i've talked about this very openly is both of them have different things which require modification at school so mason is intellectually disabled and because of that pretty much every subject for him is modified and then matthew is adhd and he's dyslexic and because of that his you know most of his work is modified as well or it is um, read to him and and kind of communicated on a different level so because of that we've had challenges and then we don't have tablets that they can get um, online so i'm actually having them work out of a workbook and I tried getting tablets from the school. They are no longer checking them out. So I'm really just doing the best that I can. I've had so many of you guys reach out to me, specifically on Instagram stories, our Instagram like DMs, and just talk about how stressed out you are about this whole situation. And trust me, I feel you. I feel like every day, I feel like I'm failing in some categories. It's basically impossible right now to get everything done. So if you're working from home, if you're homeschooling, if you're a stay-at-home mom, whatever it is that you're doing, all of the things that you're used to doing and juggling, it is very difficult and on top of that you know going to the grocery store and getting groceries I don't know why but we are eating so much more food <laughs> like we really really are but we're just doing it you know day by day we are you know taking it day by day I have bad days I have good days I'm trying really hard to stay positive because one there there's really no other option what can I do I've got the boys I've got the dogs I've got to take care of everything and I really you know I just there's there's no reason to not stay positive, but I'm not gonna say that it's been easy because it definitely hasn't been easy. I think that for the most part, we just have to, one, stick together, two, communicate. You know, if, if there's a friend you haven't talked to in a really long time, reach out, say hi, check in on them and see how they are doing. I'm trying to do a little bit more when it comes to that kind of stuff as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set with that invisible powder again. I'm trying to do a little bit more when it comes to that kind of stuff as well. And I think that in general, especially for me, my particular personality, I am a total, total introvert. I'm a homebody and I'm okay with that. I've never had a problem with that. And I just can't even imagine how those of you that are not introverts, that are extroverts, how y'all are dealing out there. So I feel like for the most part, I've probably got it pretty good. And my boys are older, so like they are working independently with a lot of stuff. Obviously, if they have questions, you know, it, they come to me and I'm not saying that they're necessarily focused all of the time, but we're doing our best. And I think we just are. Like that's just the best that, that we can do. I have no idea what the future holds and how much longer this is going to be. I don't think we any of us thought it would be this long. I've heard rumors that Texas is, is going to be opening up next week, but then I've also heard that not until May 1st, so I really don't know. No, I don't believe we've hit peak here in Texas, but I have heard that there are some other states that have hit peak already, which is amazing. I mean, I think that means that there is light at the end of the tunnel and the lift is coming soon. But I think that even when the lift does come, I think that people are still going to be very cautious and I don't think that it's going to get right back to normal everyday life. I think that businesses are going to open because they have to but people aren't going to be out and about they're still going to be very very cautious i personally feel i feel like until there is a vaccine for this is that's just my opinion i feel like for probably for the next year or so people are just going to be cautious i don't think i think it's going to be like a trickle effect which 
I can't imagine having like a brick and mortar store and you've been closed for like what a month I just honestly can't even imagine having to deal with that That's got to be so stressful when I look at the circumstances and I take a step back I still feel really really blessed the fact that we are safe at home to me just kind of means the world And so I'm really 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 blessed in that in that sense And I think a lot of us need to really change that mindset instead of feeling like you're stuck at home realizing that no You're not stuck at home you're safe at home. And I think that's a really good way to look at it. And kind of once you change that perspective, I feel like you can just kind of move on from there and at least come to some sort of new understanding of what everyday life is gonna be like, at least for now. Just my opinion. The only thing that I would do is add a little bit more lipstick. This color, you guys, is so good. And that, and that color is so pretty. I feel like it makes my lips look kind of pouty, which I love. And this lip gloss, you guys, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of that. This is basically my full face of makeup. And I showed you guys two different ways, like quick, easy, and then like full glam. And even full glam for me, I mean, even this doesn't take any more than 10 minutes. I just do everything a little bit more. Make sure to check out all the products down below i will link everything down below these Fenty products you guys are amazing and of course thank you so much to fenty for sponsoring this video i do want to do a quick little rapid fire question because i wasn't able to answer as many questions as i was hoping to throughout this video because i did want to talk about the makeup as well so let's go ahead and do some rapid fire questions would i ever buy a birkin bag actually i have started to consider that more often now than i ever have so i could definitely see that happening in the future where are my my glasses from i'm assuming you're talking about these glasses and if so i will link them down below for y'all am i still you doing young living the answer is yes i order from them every single month are we still able to order online right now and the answer is yes all the stores are online assuming they already had an online presence what are my top three designer handbags i actually recently did a video i will pop it on the screen right now check that video out would i ever consider buying a rolex or a cartier watch and the answer is yes i definitely would what's my favorite designer brand if i had to pick only one it would definitely be louis vuitton which foundation am i loving these days that is easy this right here has been one of my go-to favorites this is the clinique even better makeup i am wearing it today in this shade cn40 what shoes and handbags am i most excited to wear after quarantine probably just sandals because i'll have a pedicure and my crossbody bags those are my faves next luxury handbag on my radar chanel or louis vuitton and probably chanel because i have so much louis vuitton already what is my most used wallet it is definitely my full-size zippy wallet that is the best full-size wallet in my opinion and in regards to smaller handbags it would be my louis vuitton like card holder that one is also a must for smaller handbags how do i prevent cakiness when layering correcting and foundation and i would definitely say very 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 light layers and you also have to make sure that your skin is ready for foundation and primer and things like that so make sure you're hydrated make sure you're taking good care of your skin at the end of the day no matter how much makeup you put on if your skin is not well like moisturized and hydrated your makeup's gonna look awful how many bags do i think an average girl should have and what should those bags be so i don't really have a specific number in mind i think it's different for everybody it depends on somebody's budget and things like that so i think honestly whatever number you feel comfortable with whatever your budget allows that's really going to be up to you as far as the handbags i would definitely check out my top three handbags video and just in general check out my handbag collection video because i talk about each of them and i tell you why i love them or why I use them or don't use them often. Have I ever purchased Tory Burch? The answer is yes. I actually have a couple of pairs of Tory Burch shoes and accessories. I love Tory Burch. I think they have great products. As far as Michael Kors, I do not actually own anything Michael Kors, but I definitely have purchased Michael Kors in the past. What eye cream do I recommend? I'm gonna be honest, I do not remember the names of them, but I will link them down, down below. I know I have one by Kiehl's, and I think I have one, yes, I have one by Kiehl's, and I have one by LMS, and I do love them both. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me slash q and A. I I will make sure to link everything down below that I used in this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. It is so nice to meet you. I hope you decide to stick around, hit that subscribe button, that notification button. And before you head out, make sure to check out one of these videos and I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.